Hello, my name is Cyril Wilson, Technical Marketing Engineer, Cisco Systems. This is a demo on Cloud on Ramp for Multi Cloud with the Azure Virtual Way. We will show how Cloud on Ramp extends the SD WAN fabric and policies to the cloud. We'll demonstrate how we securely connect to our Azure workloads and how telemetry and monitoring facilitate day one operations and troubleshooting. To get to our Cloud on Ramp for Multi Cloud dashboard, we have two options. We can use the panel on the left or the cloud icon on the top right corner. Here we see that our workflows are separated into four areas. Setup, Discover, Manage, and Intent Management. Account Association. In order to securely communicate and use REST APIs with Azure, we must first associate our vManage controller with our subscription. In Azure Active Directory, we have already created service profile and assigned to it just the minimum permissions required for vManage to perform its tasks. We also have the four security parameters required for us to authenticate our Azure Active Directory and to acquire the service principle. We can input these parameters here. As we can see by going to account management that we have successfully associated our vManage controller to our Azure subscription. Now let's take a look at Cloud Global Settings. This is where we set the default parameters for our cloud gateways. This includes the software image. This is the version of the iOS XC software that will be running on our Calus 8000V routers. SKU scale. Each SKU represents 0.5 gigabits per second of throughput. Our current SKU offerings are 2, 4, and 10, which translates to 1, 2, and 5 gigabits per second. Keep in mind this is an HA router pair. IP subnet pool. Virtual hubs require slash 24 IP address range, which can be dynamically allocated from this pool. Please keep in mind these first three parameters can be overwritten during Cloud Gateway creation, as all gateways do not need to be on the same software version, nor do they need to be of the same SKU. This allows us to right-size our virtual appliances for expected regional traffic requirements. And we can overwrite the vHub address range to allow for more flexibility in our IP addressing. Autonomous System Number this is the BGP ASN number that our Calus 8000V routers will use to peer with the virtual hubs. Our cloud gateways can natively send telemetry data to Azure. We can inject a default route from our fabric to the virtual hub to direct VNet to internet traffic. Here we will not be selecting that. We can choose to have vManage perform periodic audits where it compares its configuration with that of Azure. And we can select auto remediation to have vManage automatically fix any discrepancies found during the audits. We have now successfully updated our Cloud Global settings. We can now create our Cloud Gateway. Like all Cisco SD-WAN devices, configuration starts with a template. Here we could actually use our default Azure Virtual WAN template without making any changes to it whatsoever. As we can see, the template is quite simple. We don't need to configure interfaces, IP addressing, routing, nor VPNs. In this example, however, I am going to copy the default template to non-default template in order to make a quick edit. All I did here was change the admin password to something besides the default. Now I attach my device serial numbers to the template and enter a few parameters for our virtual routers. I can also preview the virtual router configurations. As we can see, the serial numbers have been attached to the template, which is just waiting for a device to come online and claim the configuration, which is what we'll be doing now by creating our Cloud Gateway. We'll input our Cloud Gateway name, optional description. This is our associated vManage account. We must choose a region. I can use an existing resource group, but here I'll create a new one. Same for the virtual WAN. I will overwrite the IP addressing. And now all we need to do is enter the device serial numbers that we just attached to our template. We can now create our Cloud Gateway. This will take a few minutes, but we can see that our Cloud Gateway has been created. If we go to the Azure portal, we can see that we created a virtual WAN, a virtual hub, and we can see our network virtual appliances. What we can't see are any connected VNets. That is because we have yet to declare our connectivity intent. On our Cloud OnRant for Multi-Cloud Dashboard, we can see that we now have a cloud gateway. We have zero VPN tags or VNets associated, and we can also see this information summarized on top. 
If we use our vManage SSH tool to log into one of our Cloud Gateway virtual routers, we can see that we have configured the interfaces and the IP addressing, but no routing. Let's discover and tag some VNets. Here I can see my Dev1 and QA1 virtual networks, to which I'll assign the Dev QA tag. If I go into the Azure portal and look at the virtual network, I can see that the tag has been applied. Connectivity intent. If we use our vManager SSH tool to log into one of our branches, we can see that we have two routes. The first route is its local route, and the second route is that of the other SD-WAN site that's connected to the fabric. We do not see any Azure workload vNet routes. Let's fix this by declaring connectivity intent. Here we see that our mapping has been successful. In our Cloud OnRamp for Multi-Cloud dashboard, we can see that we now have one VPN, one tag, and two connected host VNets. In the Azure portal, we can now see that we have our connected virtual networks. We can also see this information graphically in Insights. If we log into one of our Cloud Gateway virtual routers, we can see that BGP is now configured. And now back to our branch, we can see our Azure workload VNets. This means that by using our Cloud OnRamp for multi-cloud workflows, we have successfully connected our select SD-WAN sites to our desired VNets. Now let's take a look at telemetry and monitoring. Here we can see our virtual routers. These are the SD-WAN sites that are connected to the SD-WAN fabric and for whom we've declared our connectivity intent. We can also drill down into our cloud gateways to get additional information such as traffic statistics, settings, and associated VPNs. If we scroll down, we can see the individual routers that make up our cloud gateway and access their system dashboard. Here we can see memory, CPU, interface and tunnel stats, amongst others, and we can use our real-time troubleshooting tools. If we scroll further down, we can see more details about our connected SD-WAN sites and associated VNets. Our cloud gateways can natively send telemetry data to Azure. To see this data, we must create metrics. First, we select the network virtual appliance that we just created. Next, we choose the metric namespace. Here, we'll choose CPU and average utilization. We can now visualize our data. Let's add another metric. This time, we'll choose memory. We can pin this to the dashboard, and we can send this to Azure workbooks for aggregation, retention, and further analysis. This concludes our demo on Cloud on Ramp for Multi-Cloud with Azure Virtual WAN. If you'd like to try this yourself, we do have a hands-on sandbox demo that does not require an Azure subscription nor Cisco licensing. Please see the link below. Thank you for watching.